Hope is a terrible thing to lose, but it's something that I've lost more than once. I've always been one of those people who knew what I wanted, and I've never been afraid to go after it either. It hasn't been easy though. I've been through a lot. I never said I knew what I was doing. There's so many things I wish I did differently, but you live and you learn, right? You're not born with all the answers in life. If there's one thing I did right, it's that I never stopped trying. I keep going no matter what. And I know I'm not the only one. Pursuing a non-traditional path in life can be extremely taxing. But when you have that bug, be it the acting bug, the travel bug, the start my own business bug, whatever it is, there's no killing that spirit. It's absolutely vital to your well-being that you find that thing that you're looking for and achieve your goals somehow. I constantly have to remember to check in with myself and where I'm at in my process. I get frustrated at how long it's taking and wonder if I should have just followed a more traditional path in life. Even though I know deep down inside I wouldn't feel fulfilled, I forget that success is a journey and not a destination. I forget that it's necessary to stop and smell the roses sometimes. I forget that it's okay to want something more in life. I forget that everyone experiences setbacks, no matter what their path is. There's so much to my story. But in a nutshell, at age 20, I moved to New York City to pursue a career in this crazy unforgiving world known as the TV and film industry. While I've certainly made some strides, I still have a long way to go. I've worked on network TV shows, nationally known brand commercials, music videos for critically acclaimed artists. And like I said, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon, but I've been hit with some real curveballs. The most obvious being financial troubles, classic relationship drama, everyday health issues, the state of humanity constantly spiraling out of control, and losing loved ones, unfortunately, which is by far the most painful and derailing of everything I've experienced. And it's something I'm still actively working through, which brings me to where I am today. All these ups and downs really takes a beating on your spirit on your confidence, on your why am I doing this ridiculously hard thing I'm pursuing in the first place, on just everything. Because hope, faith, life's meaning, your destiny, it's what keeps you going. But when you're in the thick of your troubles, it's so easy to forget that. And that's when hopelessness sets in. Now, I don't know about you, but I refuse to be hopeless. I refuse to be hopeless. I refuse to be hopeless. If you say it 10 times fast, then your inner self might actually believe it and listen. No, but seriously, I refuse to be hopeless is a lot easier said than done. Because maintaining hopefulness is a full-time job. Your drive, your purpose, whatever you wanna call it, needs to constantly be nourished and nudged. Like, hey, are you still in there? I just learned this valuable lesson. So don't beat yourself up if you're just realizing this now. You need to fight to stay positive. You need to fight to stay focused. You need to fight to stay connected to your reasons why. Because once you get through one obstacle, another obstacle is in the wings, ready and willing to pop up like boo. You didn't think you were getting anything done today now, did you? One of the ways I've been fighting to stay positive and stay present is by allowing myself ample space to breathe. Too often we get so caught up in go, 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 gotta get stuff done, that when we get hit with the bullshit, it knocks us off our game real quick. And then we're far too beat up to pick up the pieces. I don't bounce back well at all. So I'm giving myself permission to go live a little, or heck, go live a lot. And I'm encouraging you to do the same. Find what works for you. I personally started dancing again, which is a former passion of mine, that I've severely neglected in the last decade since I started pursuing my TV and film career full time, which is no coincidence. What I love about this new chapter of dance is that there's no pressure. I'm not trying to be the next Misty Copeland or one of Beyonce's backup dancers. Although, who am I kidding? That would be nice. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this because it makes me happy. For one to two hours each class, nothing else matters. 
I can leave my troubles on the dance floor. It's the best therapy I could ask for. I'm reconnecting with my body, I'm sharpening my mind by tending to a forgotten part of myself. I've been feeling so painfully stifled and woe is me that it's paralyzed my creativity. Dance is helping me to remember why I started. I started on this journey for personal freedom. I started on this journey to tell my story and to express myself to the fullest extent. Life is a constant balancing act. It can be overwhelming at times. But if you can stay in tune somehow with that unrelenting passion you once felt, then I think everything's going to be okay. Remember why you cared so much. Remember why you risked it all. Remember how it felt in the beginning. Remember why you started. And let's go get this party started. Again.